In the last two lectures, we have seen what is magnitude distortion and phase distortion. Now in this lecture, we will talk about distortionless LTI systems. We will find the conditions for an LTI system to be distortionless. On your screen, you can see one black box. Inside this box, there is an LTI system and let's say the input to this LTI system is equal to XT and the output is equal to YT. Now in case number one, we will consider the LTI system is having both types of distortions. It is having the magnitude distortion as well as the phase distortion. And after this, we will see the modifications required to make it distortionless LTI system. So we will take one example to understand this. Let's say input XT is having two terms. The first term is sine omega 1t. Omega 1 is the frequency of the first term. And the second term is equal to sine omega 2t. So there are two frequencies and you can see the two frequencies are different. Omega 1 is not same as omega 2. So with respect to two different frequencies, we are having two terms. And as this LTI system is having both magnitude and phase distortions, the first term will have different amplification and the different time delay as compared to the second term. And it is happening because we have two different frequencies in the two terms. So let's quickly find out the output yt. The output yt will be equal to k1 times sine omega 1 t minus t1. We have assumed k1 as the amplification of the first term and the time delay as t1. So we have k1 sine omega 1 t minus t1. So there is amplification and there is time delay because of this LTI system. Now we will focus on the second term. The second term will have the different amplification as compared to the first term because the system is having the magnitude distortion. So let's say the amplification is equal to K2 sine omega 2 T minus T2. T2 is the amount of delay and it will be different as compared to T1 because the system is having the phase distortion. So the things are very clear till now and now we will focus on the modifications we can do to have the distortionless LTI system. We know distortionless LTI system should not have magnitude distortion and also the phase distortion. So we are required to eliminate the magnitude and phase distortions. To eliminate the magnitude distortion, these two terms should have the same amount of amplification. This means K1 should be same as K2. K1 should be same as K2 and let's say they are equal to K. So in place of K1, we will have K sine omega 1 t minus I will leave the amount of delay for now plus k sine omega 2 t minus I will leave the time delay. So in this way we have removed the magnitude distortion. The two terms are having the same amplification. Now we will focus on removal of phase distortion. To remove the phase distortion the amount of time delay should be same t1 should be same as t2. So t1 should be same as t2 and let's say they are equal to t0. So the delay will be t0. Now we are having the output which represents there is no distortion because of the LTI system. So we can say that the LTI system is a distortionless LTI system and we can write the system relationship output yt will be equal to k times xt minus t0. This is what we have for the distortionless LTI system. And now we will perform the Laplace transform. We will perform the Laplace transform to obtain the transfer function. yt will become ys, k is a constant, xs e raised to power minus s t0. This is what we have after performing the Laplace transform of the system relationship for an LTI system which is distortionless. 
Now we will divide both the sides by xs to get the transfer function. On the left hand side we will have ys over xs which is the transfer function hs and it will be equal to k times e raised to power minus s t naught. Now we will replace s by j omega. We have already obtained the transfer function but if we replace s by j omega we will have the transfer function after performing the Fourier transform. So we will have h j omega or h omega. For simplicity we write h omega there is no need to write j along with it and it will be equal to k e raised to power minus j omega t naught. From here we can easily find out the magnitude of the transfer function and the phase of the transfer function. h omega is equal to k times e raised to power minus j omega t naught and this is the transfer function for an LTI system which is distortionless. I will write down the transfer function here h omega is equal to k times e raised to power minus j omega t naught if you want you may remember this transfer function for distortionless LTI systems and from here we can easily find out the magnitude of the transfer function. It will be equal to k and the phase of the transfer function it will be equal to minus omega t naught. Now if we plot the waveform of the magnitude of the transfer function we will have something like this the magnitude is constant it is equal to k so the first condition is the magnitude of the transfer function of a distortionless LTI system should be constant now we will plot the waveform of the phase of the transfer function and from here you can see it is linear the waveform will look like this so we have our second condition according to second condition the phase of the transfer function should be linear now I will repeat the two conditions the first condition is that the magnitude of the transfer function should be constant and the second condition is that the phase of the transfer function should be linear if these two conditions are satisfied we can say that the given LTI system is distortionless. It is very important so remember the two conditions and this is all for this lecture. If you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.